Former man is accused of stealing more than half a million dollars from an elderly family member. Federal investigators say Terrence Pruitt executed a power of attorney over that family member without the family member's consent. He then allegedly became a joint account holder so that he could take the money and transfer it to his own account. Pruitt faces a maximum of 20 years in prison. New at 10, a troubling trend is happening right now across the state with seemingly no end in sight. More and more of the elderly are falling victim to scams and having their bank accounts run dry. James Giles joins us after talking with the Alabama Securities Commission about what they are seeing. James, just how big a problem is this? Well, Brittany, Steve, in 2016, there were only 23 elder abuse scams reported. Now, just since January, there have been around 250 cases of elder abuse in the state alone. Alabama Securities Commission Director Amanda Sin says the drastic increase is a direct result of a 2016 law that mandated financial institutions report suspicious activity on people's bank accounts. Now, Sin says usually you see two types of scams targeting the elderly, one being online where someone is trying to take advantage, while the other is when someone tries to get close to an elderly person who is sometimes widowed. And we've had um Defendants that have been, uh, you know, lawyers, accountants, uh, doctors, educators, and like I said, there aren't that many. Most of them come from out of state um, to to commit crimes in the state against victims that live here. But um, but they, you know, come from all walks of life, and our victims too come from all walks of life. So. cases is due to the reporting mandate. She says most cases don't see their money come back, but the state is aggressive in pr prosecuting these types of cases and seeking restitution, guys. Nice, James.